Here's an example that illustrates the difference between the population mode, the population mean, and the population median. Find the population mode, mean, and median of the continuous random variable x with probability density function. And here it is. f of x is equal to x times e to the minus x on the support x greater than 0. So first of all, to find the population mode, we want to find the peak value of this PDF. In other words, we want to find the maximum value. And finding maximums you're used to from calculus. You simply take a derivative and using the product rule, here is the derivative of the probability density function. And when you pull an e to the minus x out, you get this expression. When you set that equal to 0 and you solve this for, get, for x, you get x equals 1 is the population mode. Now the second measure of central tendency is the population mean and this is mu which is the expected value of x and that will be the integral because we have a continuous distribution over the support which is from 0 to infinity of x times the probability density function so x multiplied by x e to the minus x gives you this dx. Now you look at that right there and realize that that will take integration by parts, in fact integration by parts twice, and I won't put you through all of that. It turns out the population mean is 2. Finally the third of the three measures of central tendency is the population median, and the way you find the population median in this case is you take the area from 0 up to the population median x of 0 0.5 of the probability density function x e to the minus x dx and you set that equal to 1 half. Now if I wanted to I could have also had my limits as x sub 0 0.5 down at the bottom and infinity up at the top. Either way will get you the population median. Again I won't put you through the uh, integration by parts on this particular integrand, but when you work this out by hand, you will get x sub 0 0.5, which is the population median, turns out to be approximately 1.6783. One question that might come up is, can this be done in the language Apple? And the answer is, it can. Here are some Apple commands that can be used to find the, the mean and the median. The first statement here defines the random variable x to be to have probability density function x e to the minus x so that's given here. The second list of lists uh, defines the support running from 0 to infinity and then this third list has continuous and PDF in it. When you call the mean function, it will return the mean of the distribution. That turns out to be 2. And when you call IDF with an argument of x, which defines the distribution, and a second argument of 0.5, it will return the population median, which is 1.6783. Here is a picture of the probability density function x e to the minus x and you'll notice the mode of the distribution is the point where the tangent line is horizontal and so the population mode in this case is 1. The population median is the value associated with an area of 1 half to the left of it and an area of 1 half to the right of it and that population median here is 1.6783 and then finally the population mean uh, can be interpreted as a balance point and in this case you get 2 for a population mean. So this is a simple example to where the mode and the median and the mean, the three measures of central tendency, are all a little bit different.